get into that today, but understanding your comp, the final part, the floating bonus. Now we sent out to everybody that's been that's been registered four classes yesterday. We sent out our new our newest overview, our workshop, which is uh, Dare to Dream Again. We sent out business continuation planning, and we sent out the uh, <coughs> understanding your compensation model. So today, I just want to finish up the last piece of understanding your comp. And that's a pretty big part, and we're just going to take the calculator up. And we're going to open this up full, full tilt. Close out the left side of it. Panel. And we're going to make this very understandable. So you actually get, let's take it back to VP. And the part we didn't get to yesterday was the last tiny piece. <coughs> and just bear with me for one quick second as I get this all the way down here. What we're going to do is we're going to go through the generation thing here. And I'm going to close that out, close that out, zero that out. And I'm going to zero this out. And I'm going to put specific numbers. So on the whiteboard, what you're going to see, you bring in nine VPs. This is not a complicated thing that we're going to put on the calculator. Those nine VPs have less time in the course of a year than you do. And so what, what I'm going to show there is they're going to bring in six which means that's if you take 9 times 6, that's 54 agents. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take that, and they're going to bring in 3, which is 162, again, less time. And then I kept it really at that, 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 that basis right there. I went, I went 3 again, 162 times 3, which I believe is 486. And then I went one. They only brought one person in. <clears throat> and if I did this right, it was one, two, three, four, five. And then I created a sixth level to demonstrate the power of our management here. And they brought in one person. So if we go back to the calculator. What I did here is you brought in nine people, and I'm going to use the size of the sale right here. You ready for this? $1,000 of annualized premium. Very simple. I didn't do a big number, very small number. $83 a month. Now, that could be a term life sale, or that could be a very, very small uh, cash accumulation sale. It's way below our national average of 500 bucks a month right now. And you brought nine people and they did one sale. This would, remember, we're training them, we're placing them in our workshops, but those nine outlets are generating for you $810 a month of income. If you add the 810 plus the 750 you're making on your outlet, that's $1,560 for $1,000 in premium. You're not training, you're not selling, but your distribution contract is now delivering 156% of $1,000 in premium. Now, those nine people brought to the table 54 people. Remember, I'm only showing one sale a month. I'm only showing $1,000 in total premium. These are astronomically small numbers. And those three people, sorry, six, is now bringing another $1,600 a month of income to you. And all I'm doing is I want to demonstrate the power of the sixth level. 162, 486, and 486. How much income do you have to earn to go from VP to SVP? And the answer we know is $100,000 of income. 
if you're here at $242,000 of income, did we eclipse the SVP position? <clears throat> Anybody? Yes, we did. It means we're entitled to income. So what I'm going to do right here, before you make SVP, I'm going to put the 486 in there. And do you see right there, you made zero. The reason our compensation system is better than anybody else in the United States is we have an infinitive override once we get past the VP override. Right now, when the, when the fifth level brings in the sixth one, if all you're at is VP, there's no cash flow. What made us the most amazing agency in the world, we created what's called a floating bonus. That floating bonus is not achieved until you've cash flowed in a, in a calendar year in your pocket $100,000 of commission. That opens up the first floating bonus. Now guess what? That's SVP. And look what it just did. <clears throat> that floating bonus just opened up two more levels, didn't it? It just took you instantaneously to making 12% on your directs which is not a big deal. You made 1,080. <clears throat> You're now making 6% on, their, on theirs. That's a pretty big deal. It only added 3% to your personal production, which means it didn't really make that big a difference. But on those 162 people, you're now making 5% instead of 2. That was an over 100% pay raise. And you can see right there, that's a pace to do 100,000 income right there at that one level. There, there are three people, even though you're making 5% now instead of making two, that's $24,000 a month. That's a big deal. And your fifth generation is a 4% payout, that's $19,000 a month. And then the last thing, infinitively down, the seventh level, the eighth level, the ninth level, the tenth level, you're making three infinitive down. So now, let's add up your contract. You got, you got 78 here. You got 12, that's 90, 96, 101, 106, 110. You got 113 points. And what if there is a seventh layer? Now you got 116. An eighth layer, 119. A ninth layer, 122. On and on and on. And at this level, have you not moved up the ladder? 600,000 income in here actually takes you past the SVP to the NVP, and guess what that does? I didn't even increase my sales total. I just got a pay raise on a $1,000 premium, and on a $1,000 premium, we're now over a million dollars of income. Million dollars, what's that take us? Takes us all the way to the top. You're now an ENVP on that leg. It took you close. I didn't change my sales, didn't add. We got 1,683 outlets doing one sale a month at 83 bucks a month. You're still selling $1,000. Instead of making 75%, you're now making 87%. That's still less than a 100-point contract. But everybody got the same contract as you. And now, what kind of contract do we have? 87 plus 21, where are we at? That's 108. 15. Where are we at? 108 plus 15, 123. 14, 137. 151, 164. You got a contract that now pays out like it's a 176 point contract. You can't build distribution of a better compensation here. That's why the IMO that the Gillises ran with 5,000 agents crossed over and left their home at FFS to come to us in July. That's why the Throwleys are here. That's why a lot of people that have ever built anything and understand this is the highest paying compensation plan in the United States. The lottery ticket is the floating bonus. Your base compensation, it's nice. It's worth 250000 a year. Didn't change the sales. But once you toss in the first bonus, once you cross that threshold and qualify for a bonus, that bonus income just took you up the pay rate. You didn't have to increase your sales. 
That took you to the next level, the MVP. It took time to get the income in your hands, but the pay raise got you. A year later as the MVP, did you qualify to go on top? Yes, you did. All the way to the ENVP contract. I never once changed my production. And folks, what if it is a little bit better than 83 bucks a month? What if we were averaging 300 bucks a month and not 83 a month? And you did that distribution. What did we do in that scale? All we showed was you bringing in nine, them bringing in six, them bringing in three, them bringing in three, and then they got one and they got one. I didn't show nothing astronomical. I just basically showed you the power of your compensation plan, which I didn't get to finish yesterday. And folks, that right there is a game changer. And because we're housing people in a location, because we've got all our bells and whistles in place, that's why you've got to ask the question, why in the world would I ever want to be at a 100-point contract or 110 or any of those ridiculous numbers when, when the contract here is so much more lucrative and richer? The only reason you wouldn't do this is if you, if you didn't understand the power of revenue sharing. We didn't ask you to train. We didn't even ask you to hold their hand. We're asking you in our model to do workshops and recognizing the fact that some people, probably a third to 40 percent, are going to decide that business for them is going to be this insurance piece. And it should. It absolutely should. There's nothing in there that any reason not to be there for that insurance piece. And, and, and those of you that, that, that are just seeing the end of this, go back, look at the class that was sent to you yesterday called Understanding Your Compensation. We spent an hour on it. This was the part I didn't finish yesterday, which was the actual floating bonus. The floating bonus itself is what makes us special, and you, and you don't want to miss that, that tiny piece. Now. With that said, I got to uh, move on. We are 12 minutes past the top of the hour, and we're moving into back into our indexing platform. And I want to go back to making this as simple as possible. And we're going to get in some really cool calculators that Jerry Price provided us. We're going to see the Japanese Nikki. Uh, index today. We're going to see us versus the S&P 500. We're going to teach a new way of doing business, but I want you to, again, understand simple. Because it's about you. If you've got a cell phone and you're ready to make money today, what do you have to do to have success? Can you give me three phone calls a day? Can you say, are you near a computer? There is a three minute and 41 second video that can set all your appointments, open your doors to great prosperity. It is on our website. So I'm going to go to our website. Bear with me for a second. I'm going to open up our website. And I'm just going to, I'm going to, go, I'm going to go get my website here. And I, I want you to see how easy this can be for you and your team. Forget the little pop-up bubble for the current event. And you go over here on the left side where it says Start Here. So I pick up the phone and I call Carlos Millsap. Are you near a computer? Yes, I am. I need you to go click a button. I need you to go click the Start Here button. He does. What, play that three-minute video and call me back. This is too important. You need, to, you need to check this out. If he's a friend of mine, he's going to watch it. Today, that's your homework assignment. Every one of you, I want you to go here to freedomequitygroup.com, click on the Start Here button, play the video. 
that's not a business opportunity. All this is about is, is a video for three minutes on indexing. Imagine what would happen if you got a person to make phone calls to their phone book and put three people a day on that video. What would happen? Could it lead to appointments? You want to know how easy this is to explain? And I got to make sure I pop up the right calculator. And I'm going to start with favor A, favor B. And Jerry, I probably should just turn your mic on, but you know. This is pretty simplistic. There's all kinds of drop-down windows. You can make a person any age you want. You can make them 35, 40, 45. I'm going to leave it at 40 years of age on Saver A. It says the actual S&P 500 returns. You can have an investment any size. I've got a million dollars in there. And you can see right here, first year it made 19.53%. And I can scroll all the way down to t December 31st of last year, and there's a million five hundred and three thousand. But I'm not done. Over here, I've got my LSW cap of 13 with no floor, or I could put in that crazy thing from uh, Anacle, the 10 with a three percent floor. But I'm going I'm to keep it at 13 for a second. No, no, 13 uh, percent cap, and as, as the, the market goes down, we got a zero. How are we looking? Well, let's take a look at this. You can put your any fees you want in there. If we have zero fees and zero taxes, you can put that in your thing, but that's not realistic. With no taxes and no fees, I'm still ahead with no losses, 2.7 million to a million five. When, when, when your Wall Street guy says your average rate of return is taking these returns and dividing it by 15 years, he's saying 4.62. But when you actually divide this to your starting point, it's really an actual rate of return of 3.36. If we took our rate of return to divide it by 15 years, we're showing an average return of 7.09. But our actual rate of return is 11.53% when you look at the numbers. Taking out the losses is a big deal. When you put the fees back in, you can put any fees you want. Our fees in this country average 3%. So if I put 3% in, I get to subtract off 465000 from this pile of money. When we know they got to pay income tax on that money, this is a big deal, a little bit of tax. Well, let's just put 30% tax bracket. That's another 311000 I took my actual rate of return from 4.62 to a quarter of 1%. When I factored in taxes, I got 1.82. Now, Jerry put in my IUL cost. He factored in a 40-year-old male from age 40 to 65, and he, he, he got me over that time frame, the same 15 years, 352000 of cost for insurance. So it brought my actual rate of return down to 9.18. I am tax-free. They got spendable seven hundred and twenty-six thousand to my two point three million. How many people like that? Now I'm going to try to to snag out a little bit of stuff here that Jerry had, and I'm going to scroll this down a little bit. Summary of A. And the person that's the A person, his exposure. He's 100% at risk in the market. Ours, no risk. Your taxes, you've got tax deductible contribution, tax delayed. This is a, a, a tax forever asset. Ours, taxable contribution, tax deferred accumulation, tax redistribution and transfer. IRC code 72E, 101-7702-7702A. This is a tax never asset. Your partner, the government, massively in debt, spends irresponsibly, in total control. Congress can change rules any time. Age available, your share, etc. Ours, financially sound institutions, fiscally responsible. They're under contractual obligation. Uh, can it change? It's been the history of grandfathering. 
changes apply to new contracts, continuing down a little bit. Your cost, you pay them all. Cost, fees, penalties, and taxes, you take all the risk. If your cost, your strategy carries inclusion, ours. If you carry this policy of inclusion, there's no cost because you recoup any and all cost, fees, penalties, and taxes paid, all with no risk to you. Your financial future, uncertain, unpredictable, financial, nerve-wracking, certain, predictable, enjoy financial peace of mind. Would you rather save your million dollars like saver A or saver B? Anybody? Hmm, quiet. Well, let's take a look. One other thing. This is the Japanese stock market. And this goes all the way back to 1981, when we know the Japanese market had some hiccups. And, and, and people were afraid to show all these great gains, 42%, 14%, 42%, 20 all those gains of the 80s. People were saying, well, I'm kind of afraid to show that. I can understand that. That's, a, that's an understandable thing. We've got from 1989 to 2013 and 1981 to 2013. So the very first thing I want to do, I want to make my client 35 years of age. I want to make him a meal. I want to factor in my insurance cost. And I want to put way back in 1981, $100,000 on the left side the Japanese market, and I want to put $100,000 in my IUL policy. And I want to scroll down through all the good and bad years. You can see those are all the years, the 2013, the good, the bad. These are the numbers from Nikki. At the end of 33 years, I got 193000 on the left side. I've got 713000 on the right side. So we haven't put fees in yet. We haven't put taxes in yet. We haven't put our insurance cost in yet. So we're going to do that. I'm going to put in just 2.5% fees. And I'm going to put some income tax in there. Need to put some taxation. So we're, we're going to put in some 30% tax bracket. I just took 100000 and at the end of 33 years, I've got $60,000 left. Over here, I've got IUL cost, $53,000. I'm tax-free. And $100,000, I'm sitting at $660,000. It's a $600,000 difference. What if we scrolled back up here? And we had a million dollars in the chest. How are we looking? Scroll back down. 6.6 million versus 600,000. Going to go back to the first calculator for a second. But, but Dave, I get some kind of matching funds. Okay, let's do it. Let's give them three. Let's give them. Uh, uh, let's give them a matching fund. Add three hundred thousand more on the left side versus my million. They still didn't catch up. They had matching funds, thirty percent that they put in. And they're at 944. But, but Dave, what if they got 50% matching funds? In this third case, I'm doing 100% matching funds. They got 2 million on the left side, a million on my side. They, got to, they had the company give them an extra million dollars. And yet, I'm still 900,000 better than them. You can destroy matching funds. You can destroy volatility. And all you got to do is get your client to pick up the phone 
and ask them to take a look at a three minute video. And then take them on a join me or a go to meeting and use this little calculator that Jerry created. And by using this little calculator, a better way to save, educate them on life insurance as a place to house, educate them on living benefits, and you're off to the races. You can take your application over the phone and be done with a presentation in less than 10 minutes. What do you got to teach to get this job done? Well, you've got to eliminate risk. Eliminate risk. You're, 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 you, that's what that calculator did. I just eliminated risk. I showed my cost. I showed my cost of life insurance in there. Thank you, Jerry, for putting that in there. The apps, the, 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 the objection. But Dave, what, you know, markets go up and down, but my broker says you, 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 only, you only lose if the, mar if, 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 if the market, you only lose if you sell. Sorry, had to get that in their proper language. And well, wh what if it never comes back? That market was at 39,000 points in 1989 and it never came back. The other day it was sitting around 15,000. It's never gotten even. And now I can demonstrate where we would be at exactly from 1989 to today. I can go back to 1981 let them have all their ramp up time. They cannot, you cannot beat us what we do. When you eliminate volatility, eliminate risk, what's next? What's the next obstacle they gotta do you gotta remove in conversation? Are you near a computer? Do you have a new type of life insurance? There are life insurance contracts with indexing with the new type and the old type. There are companies out there that don't have living benefits. You've got to teach living benefits. They've got to get that. That's an obstacle. If you've got a person 40 years of age and they're saving money like crazy for retirement and all of a sudden they get sick and they suffer a heart attack, and they've tossed away over their life already a hundred thousand in there in their accounts. What shape are they in? If they if they cannot go to work, and they are in a traditional four hundred one k plan, not a four hundred ten, a four hundred one k plan. What shape are they in? If you can't go to work, you had a heart attack, you're home. Are you funding your retirement with zero income? Answer, no, you're not. It's over. Your retirement dreams just got dashed. If you're in a traditional old type of life insurance, even an index life plan with no living benefits and you were to suffer a heart attack, how much cash do you have access to? And those old policies, only the surrender value. And yes, insurance companies love that. Up to the last couple of years, one of the greatest things that ever happened to an insurance company is the client would get sick and the client would kill the policy. They would need the money. They would need the money. And this is why 90% of permanent policies never went to a conclusion. They never made it to a death claim. 
because the client would have to kill the policy for the cash inside. You know, sitting there talking to um, a marketing guy in Chicago who's got a large IMO in Chicago. It's got nothing to do with FEG. And he writes a bucket load with Banner. He says, well, Dave, Banner pays me so much bonus money. He says, they, they bonus me 35% above my street contract. I said, yes, they do. I said, of course they do. And I said, do you understand why? And he just got wined and dined to go make the transition to AIG Partners, which is the old Agla company. So he called me asking my advice on that. And he says, Banner's got the, a version of e-ticket. They got the big, huge bonuses. I says, they do not pay claims. Those products are priced to not be in force when we are probably hitting a conclusion in our life. They get very expensive, and a person won't be able to keep them. Yes, Banner is a cheap term policy, but there's no living benefit. And if I want a person to sell Banner, you tell me that they do all these deals for blood pressure and all these things preferred, and they do all kinds of crazy underwriting for you. Yeah, because the, you know, the client's probably going to live. They will become a critical illness statistic with that policy, but nothing will be paid out. When I attach living benefits to a cash value policy, an index contract, not a Minnesota life, not a North American life, not an Allianz life, my companies, LSW, American National, soon to be Phoenix life. I got to tell you something. They're building me a private label IUL just for FEG. They're not building that IUL living benefits for anybody else, but we know how to do this. I get to take a person in their 40s, and when they get sick, whether they're in a term policy or an IUL contract, I can design it that day to completely 100% fund their income. And if they do not need the money, if they do not need the funds, they don't need the income, I can take that money and put it back into an IUL chassis policy with LSW. That makes me amazing. Because I get to finish funding their retirement where their deal, they got to go in their 20, 25 years to fund it. They cannot beat us. They can't. And I find that, from a business standpoint, to be nothing sort of, short of amazing. And there's nobody here that's not capable of putting a person on our website, pushing a button, watching a three-minute video, and going through two more videos. In other words, being able to explain the IUL calculator. How long does that take? Three minutes? Watching a 10-minute video, you can't explain living benefits, fine. Have me do it. Dave Weiner, not David, Dave Weiner on YouTube, slash financial fitness. Take them to YouTube.com, just like this. You, I'm going to do this. www.youtube.com. Now that's a hyperlink. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to hit Control and click on it. Now I'm at YouTube on my whiteboard. And I know I've got different things right there, but I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to search my name. There it is. And I know I've used it, so I use it all the time. But you've got to type in Dave Weiner, Financial Fitness. And there, you look for the fat man. That's me. I shouldn't say it that way. And you click on it. And 10 minutes later, they've been educated on, on, on living benefits. What happens when you're doing that with your, with your people that you've brought to the table? What happens to your business model 
when they're going out there competing against the contributions of a 401k plan. How much are they saving? 200 a month? 300 a month? This is not a complicated thing. This is very, very easy. If you find a life insurance policy in a house and they're spending $50 a month and it is the old stuff, let's just say you're using AIG tickets. You, don't, you, you do not want to leave the house. You just want to stay at home at your desk. You don't want to get in your car fight traffic, which I can appreciate. And what do you do? You sit there, you relax, and, and you got AIG ticket, and you get on your computer on your e-station. This is how easy this is. I'm going to go to e-station because I think this is the easiest thing in the world. And I'm going to go to a new, a new thing here. I'm going to type. I mean, I've got e-station saved, so I'm going to log into e-station. I'm going to go log in. I'm in e-ticket, open up, and I'm going to scroll down. There it is, AG Quick Ticket. I'm going to click on it. Quick application, quick exam, quicker commission. And then you, follow, you, you go in here and, 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 and you follow through. You go in there and you put the app in. Now, I can't do it on Chrome. I've got to do it on a, on a different window. You've got to do this on Internet Explorer so you can get in. But bang, you're in. How hard is that? You just put in some basic information. I am talking about less than five minutes of input. What do you got to put in? Basic client info. How much insurance? Couple of key These are a couple of key rules. Policy must be owned by the insured and paid by the insured. Their checking account. You input that, their banking information for the draft, and you click on Submit. They create an e-ticket. They send the information over to the exam company. They create the, 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 the paperwork. They go see the client. They ask the questions. They get the signatures. They control the whole thing for you. And bang, the policy is issued. And it's done. Pure death benefit policy being done. You did not sacrifice any commission. It's, all, it's game over. Yeah, there's a whole class on it. You should master that. Because what you've done is you've done something very cool. If you're going after index money, you need to put that into a good IUL. And I'm going to tell you right now, AIG's IUL is not strong enough. My preference, LSW, or at this point, Anico. Those are the two IULs that we use. They're almost identical. I prefer Life of Southwest. It's just my personal preference. I have my reasons, and they're good, sound ones. But basically, in 2008, when everybody else had their hand out, that company, a mutual company, was able to turn a profit when nobody else did. It's owned by the policyholders, governed by policyholders. They make decisions for the policyholders in favor of them. It's my favorite carrier. You find a person saving 200 bucks a month, and you use the tools I just gave you, a three-minute video, explain a little calculator, explain the obstacles of health, and you run an illustration. An illustration, demonstrating how this works for them. And then you find an amount of money they want to do, and on eApp, again, you don't have, you do not have to leave the confines of your office or your home. Bang, put it in, and 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 send the app into the home office. There is no reason 
not to do a minimum each week. This is a goal of $100 a week. That's the goal, $100 a week of savings. Now, this could be two people. This could be one person. If you got one person saving 100 bucks a week, what does this mean income-wise? I'm going to bring up a calculator. That's 400 bucks a month. So we're going to bring up the calculator. Thank you, Jerry, for figuring out the last piece of the puzzle. How much will my paycheck be? So let's just go in here, and I'm going to put in a $400 a month in premium. I got I, I'm going to say you're splitting. Well, right now, we'll make it where you're not splitting the case. And we'll start you at 40%. So we'll work our way up to, to that. Look at this. You put in $100 a week, you're at a 40% contract level, there's your paycheck. $1,440. You do enough production to move to the 50% contract, your paycheck's $1,800 a week. If you make your way to our district contract, which is 60%, you're now cash flowing on $100 a week, $400 a month, you're now cash flowing 2160 in advances a week. That's not bad. And if you make it to VP, you're now cash flowing 2700 a week. What if you can't close the deal? What if you're doing $100 a week, but you've got to go get a Dave on the phone to split the case with you? You're still cash flowing 1350 a week. And I've got to tell you something. I'll take the split out. I think in our system, you should be bringing a minimum to the table of three of these a week. I think you should be at twelve hundred bucks a week in premium. Eighty one hundred dollars a week is great cash flow, and you remember you still have your tenth, eleventh, and twelfth month of as earns coming in. That means you're writing an ungodly amount of production, and what are you doing? You're picking up the phone, you're going into your, you're going into your phone book, and, and, and you're deciding two key things before you start. Are you going to explain it? Or are, are you going to have someone, are you going to have someone on your team help you? It does not matter. When you get the wall of numbers in your favor, presentation-wise, I want every person in your group asking three people a day, are you near a computer? Now, if you've got to get, talk to ten people to get three people to click a link, if it takes you ten people to get three people to click a link, do you care? If you get them to go down to the next video, this is the most important part, the next video. It's a 30-minute video because there's a business opportunity here. And you get, in the course of a week's time, three people to join. You made your, t you, you did your 15 presentations. So let's say three to five people decide they want the business opportunity. How important is that to you? They got a phone book doing the same thing. And now you've got to go coach them and do the calculator and do the presentation. You have no lack of appointments. Think about this for a second. Three people join with 200 contacts. You now have exposure to 600 people that you didn't have by getting them to watch a 30-minute video. Get them to get their license. But while they're in training, guess what they're doing? Are you near a computer? They're not licensed. You're doing it for them. You're doing the presentation. You're doing presentation after. If you're doing three presentations a day, are you selling something? What if all you're averaging is a lousy $50 a week per case? How many people would you close? If you did 10 presentations and showed this, and you did 10 presentations, how many would you close? If they're, saving, if they're already saving money, and I'm doing it, I'm going to tell you right now, 8, maybe 9 out of 10 have no shot at stopping me. 
But let's just say you're weak and you only do five and they only do $200 a month. At the end of the week, you brought $1,000 a month to the table, but you had somebody sell for you. Somebody did the presentation for you. Somebody closed the deal. And so all you got was $500 in production. So we go back to the calculator, how much you're going to earn. You're splitting the case with that person, 50%. I'll say you're a VP. Even at 50%, you're cash flowing four grand a week. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta move this down. Five hundred dollars net to you. I'm sorry, it's a thousand. Five and you got fifty percent of it. You're still making three thousand three seventy-five a week living. What if you're a brand new person? You're not at seventy-five percent. What if you are way, way, way down here, but doing this and you're at 40%. How many people would give their right arm for 1800 a week paycheck this week? You're sitting here thinking, talking, wondering, and you gotta wonder, do I need this income? Do you? Do you have people around you that, that, that need a paycheck? I don't know. You tell me. Don't have to have a paycheck. But there's no other le legitimate reason not to do something unless you're doing it for, for income and cash flow purposes, right? This system, bar none, is simple. Anybody can do it. Because all you're asking them is, uh, Joe, do you own life insurance? Yes. I got a simple question. Do you own the old kind or the new kind? Huh? What are you talking about? Hey, are you near a computer? Are you are you near a computer? Take them to YouTube. Load up the load up me. You know we put, put, you know, it's like we used to talk about Chris Christie, the governor of New Jersey, this is the fat man. Well, load up the fat man. Now I know I've lost a lot of weight this year. Lost another pound this morning. But you load me up and you let me do your job. Put yourself in a position to win. When you've got a team, and, and Bob Miller, you've got a team over 400 plus people. What if you got 100 of them to use, to use the tools this week? And all of a sudden they went in their phone book. And they had 200 to 300 contacts. And all of a sudden they're putting three people a day on the computer. Does it really matter whether we're going after savings or life insurance? Or better yet, both. How much production have how much production have you closed this week? How many presentations have you given? this week. If you've done if you've done an amazing amount, you know what? Great. I know there's one guy in our group that's done twenty presentations this week. Recruited four people. He's doing presentation after presentation after presentation. Great job. But if your sit count is below ten, this is Friday. And here's the great news. By the time you get to Monday, you can still hit this weekend. Ten. If you can't present the calculator, find someone that can. If you got someone that can't it cannot input an app on e app, find someone that can. 
you think you're I'm incapable of making a, a, a conversation, hey, I get that. Until you can, have someone help you. But you have no excuse with these tools to not have an amazing week. All they have to do is click a button called Start Here and invest three minutes and forty one three minutes and forty one seconds. You do that three times a day and follow up red line or blue line and then you take them to the calculator, that's it, the calculator, forget some long-winded precision, the calculator. And then take them to understand life insurance with living benefits, if they're getting insurance, and this is with the new kind, and it's all packaged together, you will win every day of the week because the money they were spending on insurance will now go towards savings inside an insurance contract of a savings piece. The money that's going to the 401ks are now going to come to you, and all of a sudden, the next thing you know, you're doing 500 to 1500 a week in monthly contributions every week. All of a sudden, you're going to find yourself at the top of the totem pole with more income and you know what to do with it. And here's the great news. From a business opportunity to the insurance professional, yes, you have to have a license. If you go out and do $100 of premium and you're on a 40% contract, do you understand how this works? If you were on straight commission, the insurance company would only send you a check for $40. $100 premium, all they owe you is $40. Bucks. And I can talk to I am blue in the face. Forty dollars is not an exciting thing. But every one of you has a line of credit, not based on your past credit, because you're in business. I have a billion dollar company that gave you a line of credit and they are going to loan you nine months of your commission up front. Your client brought $100 to the table. Your client brought $500 to the table. Whatever the figure is, we're going to take your commission and we're going to give you nine months of your commission up front. And we're going to charge you for that loan zero. No percentage. This is how your paycheck actually works. $100 comes to the table. $40 is very simple. We're not going to pay you 40. We're going to pay them 40 times 9. Your paycheck on $100 would be 360 bucks. If you brought to the table $400, a person saving $100 a week, or two people saving $50 a week, your paycheck would be $1,440, not $160 earned. If you're a person that's on a 75% contract, a VP contract, and you brought $400 to the table, we're not giving you a commission check of $300, which is all you're entitled to. We're lending you eight more months to make your paycheck look like $2,700. You have an unlimited line of credit. You've got tools that are unbelievable and you've got a business that produces an income stream. And then the last piece of the puzzle, if, you, if you're paying attention to the stuff that we sent to you yesterday, take the time to review the four classes we sent to every one of you. Look at our model, Dare to Dream. Recognize the fact that we're willing to place you in an office at no charge. That we have a system of advertising that can help you fill our workshops. And as long as you're street legal licensed and you can navigate and get a person to click a button, you're on your way. 
how many presentations can you give? If you've got 200 plus contacts in your phone book, you have no excuse not to ask someone to play a three minute video. You do that and exercise that, then you can take them to a calculator on a computer. And if they look at that calculator and have to choose being a, the saver A, which is what they've been doing, or saver B, which is us, which would you choose? We're going to use life insurance. This is the new kind. You've probably bought life insurance in the past. Are you near a computer? Let me, let me have my partner explain life insurance to you. Remember, you don't have to do a commission split with me to use my video. Bang, you're off to the races. Now you're taking applications. I'm going to give you the closing language here. Can you save between you and the missus $100 a week each? That's $200 a week. That's $800 a month, comfortably. Well, no, we can't. Great. I know between the two of you can each save $1,250 a week each. That's $50 a month each. That's $100 a month between the two of you. Anybody can do that. A lot of good things are going to happen by saving $1,250 a week each. You're going to get in the habit of putting money away. You're going to eliminate risk on your money. You're going to be able to have that money given to you, all the money you intended to have between now and 65, all of it, if, God forbid, you fall to illness. But $100 a month between the two of you is easy. It's comfortable. It's not going to do the job you need. It won't be enough. It's not practical. It doesn't do a great job. And while saving between the two of you $100 a week each, $200 a week, $800 a month would do an amazing job for the two of you, it's not comfortable right now. But between these two extremes, there is something both practical and comfortable. Better yet, you tell me what you can save. And shut up. As soon as they give a figure, if you've got a paper app, start writing. Start asking the questions. Start filling in the blanks. If they're on a go to meeting, you got their application page up, start inputting. Take it right there. What's your social security number? Great. What's your birth date? Make them stop you and then reclose the deal. Find the objection and close. Monday we'll work on objections and closing, but right now, today, let's this weekend, let's go to work and let's get everybody over this weekend 10 presentations. You deserve it. You really, truly do. And by the way, your contacts, they deserve it too. They do not deserve to be in plan A. They do not deserve to stay in traditional life insurance. You know it, and I know it. It's one minute on top of the hour. Everybody have a great weekend. Those of you who are in Houston at the event, enjoy the event today. And we'll see all of you fighting the good fight on Monday. Thank you, and have a great weekend.